Yes, my name is Bench and welcome to our rail tutorial series. In the last video we were looking at easing with the speed controller. And in this episode we're going to look at manipulating area triggers using rails. And basically allowing us to build ourselves a player catapult. Now this was inspired by some conversations I was having with Kupu over some stuff in order to manipulate gravity to send people off on angles. But I thought, why not apply it to turrets and add a little bit of logic in there and actually make it being able to control when we actually fire or when we actually trigger the gravity. So we're here in uh, my busy build sector. You can see a lot of stuff around, which means a lot of stuff where we can shoot ourselves at, basically. So what we'll do is we'll go grab one of our turret axes and we'll drop it here underneath our little frame in the middle. And then we'll drop out and build our first part of our turret. So we'll build this ship. We'll drop a rail docker on the top to face the same way. So we've got to remember which way is forward. So we've got our rail docker there. We'll zap it and we're attached. We can swivel, swivel, swivel. And that's pretty much all we can do at this point. We'll go ahead and just kind of build a, a pretty little base. So we know where we are. I like it so. And then what we'll do is we'll build some arms down that we shoot off. Oh, that is part of our turret. So we'll drop it down like that. So we're facing the right way. Good. Go here. We'll drop some lights in so we can see what we're doing. And then we'll drop in our next turret axis. So again, in this case, we want it facing up, like so. And that's it for that particular part of the axis. So now, let's just check which way is forward. We really should mark it. All right, which way is forward? That way is forward. Forward is here. OK. So that's forward, so we'll fly down here. I don't know why I'm clipping through stuff. Probably because of the way this is orientated or something. Who knows? It's being weird. Anyway, that's beside the point. Now we're going to create ourselves our actual firing ship. The ship we're going to aim for. Or aim with. So we're going to create it like this. And what we'll do is we'll actually um, move it back couple blocks and then we'll put our rail docker so that we can kind of swivel around the point. Now in this instance I've put the rail docker out of the core where it is because I want to be able to actually have gravity and a point where we actually fire from uh, near each other so someone can jump in the core or jump out of the core and then be able to go for a, a pleasant trip. So the other thing that we will do is um, add in a, I'll put the gravity unit in front and I'll grab in a button and the button will control when we fire. And then here in the front I might just add a couple colours. So we're going to stand here and we're going to fire that way which is pretty cool. So we've got all the things that we need on this side. Now what we need to do is actually build the rail itself. Which is two basic rails, like that. It's really simple to build. And then what we'll do is actually build the controllers for that as well. So we'll build it underneath because that's a good place to put it. So we'll do one that's forward. And then one that's back. Then we'll add our flip-flop and knot gate like so. And we'll connect with C and V to them like there. And then the other thing we need to do is add a button underneath the front one and that's going to go into the flip-flop as well. And then this one here we'll also put into the flip-flop. So we can toggle on toggle on like so. 
what I'll do at the moment is disconnect the button from a flip-flop while we build the next part of our player cannon. This is where the manipulation can happen. So we'll place our core and we'll chuck our rail docker underneath like so. And we'll dock it on there and you can see that's us now docked. So the next thing we need to do is add in a area trigger which I need from my menu here uh, area trigger there. So we'll drop the area trigger and then we've got the two areas that we actually need to trigger and at this point they sit right in front of these colors or colored blocks like so and then we need a activation module that the area trigger controller goes into and then we need the gravity module now the gravity unit we need to point so that the top is facing the back and the bottom of it you can see there faces the direction we want to go which is down the barrel like so and so that's all set up now the area trigger or the activation module goes into the gravity the area trigger controller goes into the area triggers as well as the activation module itself and that's all we need on that particular setup now we can take the activation of a button and put it back into the flip-flop and we can toggle it and you can see that moves back and the final thing on this side we need to do is add in a rail speed controller so what we need to do is uh, drop the controller down and then we need to drop the activation module so we need at least two and that should be fine like it so then we connect it to the rail so then we could test it and you can see it just flicks forward and then back again now we'll grab the flip-flop and we'll connect that to the white light and we'll take the knot and connect it to the red light so you can see now when I push it it kind of flashes flashes red and our little area trigger moves forward and back now our actual area trigger or area trigger area is in these current blocks at the moment and then when we toggle it it moves forward in front of them and then moves back again because our little trigger on the button toggles it again like so and that's all we really need for it if we jump out we can hit the gravity on here and we could test it out let's go somewhere close so we'll jump into flight mode you can see we've got full range of motion we can aim it wherever we want and because we fire uh, parallel to the way that we're aiming we can actually fire people in the direction we want so let's aim for this sh ship over here we'll jump out now I because I'm in the gravity I actually am still aligned with everything so it doesn't matter and so it should be pointed the right way and all I need to do is push the button and off we go we haven't flown that far really <laughs> uh, we need to fly back because one thing that does influence it is that we're actually in the gravity of this little module on the back and if this little module on the back isn't that long we're not going to fly very far so the way to control that is actually grab some plex door or grab something and we can build off the front because the area triggers are on the inside so let's build a little bit lower and we'll do uh, a big long line somewhere like so basically however far you want to fly so it'll give us one more on it so we got a little bit of control so you can see there just how far we could fly and then what we could do is just toggle it off and we need to get rid of the front ones where we need to push the button because that won't work otherwise
So now we can jump in our core. We'll jump in the gravity here. So we're in the gravity here. We can then jump in the core. We can aim it at wherever we want. Let's aim for down there and see how far we get. Oh, and I've jumped out because <laughs> it's dropped me out of the, the gravity again. So maybe make it a little bit thicker if you don't want to be falling off all the time. But anyway, so we'll stand at the back, ready, push a button, and off we go. We're left flying. And conveniently, there's a uh, gravity module there, but you can see we fired ourselves here, all right here, and if we um, turn on the ships, we'll be able to jump back up there pretty easily. We'll sh switch off docked, because there's a lot. And then we can jump in and aim it somewhere else. Now you can imagine it'd be pretty easy for us to go over here, grab ourselves an inner ship remote, and just drop one of them down. And then put the button and the ship remote connected and fire. And now we're in here. We've got our fire button. And you can see I can click it and the little gravity module moves forward. So we could fire players ourselves pretty easily. We can fly all around. Let's fly to an asteroid. So we can jump in. And the other thing you could do is set this as a uh, foot trigger. A step on area trigger if you wanted. There we go. We fired ourselves at the uh, asteroid. So a really easy way to build ourselves a player cannon, which is pretty cool. Anyway, my name is Bench. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.